Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a look at MSI Afterburner and fan speed control. A lot of users are having issues not being able to adjust their fan speed. So I'm gonna do my best to see if I can help you with that problem and walk you through some of the steps that we can do to enable the feature. If you're interested in doing this, make sure that as you're watching this full video that you're completely comfortable with all these steps before you actually do it on your own. So let's take a look. So before we begin, a bit of a warning. Only proceed with any of these steps if you're absolutely comfortable working with your system. In method number two, we're gonna be uninstalling and installing drivers and also talking about BIOS updates and everything else. So if you're uncomfortable with this, just watch for informational purposes. I wouldn't actually proceed with these steps. This isn't guaranteed to work for everybody. This is part of the troubleshooting process. These are just some of the steps that you can follow to see if this functionality will start working. One of the first things that we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you're running MSI Afterburner as administrator. If you're not running as administrator, you may not have all the user controls that you wanna have in order to get this up and running properly. And to run it as administrator, what you wanna do is on the icon, whether it's in your start menu or on your desktop, right click on it and then run as administrator. And if you get prompted, say yes, type in the password if it's required. And once you have it loaded up, you can go ahead and test it out. If you're running as administrator and fan speed is still not enabled and you're trying to touch this option, but you cannot select it, you will have an A for auto over here. And when you select it, it enables the fan speed. So then that's one way that you can adjust it. This is the easiest way to adjust the fan speed. Some people don't notice the feature. So the easiest one right there is auto, and then you can select it and it enables it. The next one is to manually do it. And you can do that by going into the settings option and then inside settings, you're gonna to go to fan and we want to enable the first check mark over here. And this is where you can define your fan speed and set a custom level for it. Once you have set your predefined fan speed curve and all the parameters for it, you can hit apply and okay. And it'll automatically adjust the fan speed according to your settings. Now, one of the last steps and most drastic steps is to do a full uninstall of your driver and install of your driver. Now to do it properly, what you wanna do is use a tool called Display Driver Uninstaller. Now this is, can be found at guru3d.com and this is where the official files are hosted. And what I recommend is definitely getting it from the source. I'm gonna host it also on my blog and I'll put a link in the description to both in the description below. But my blog is only for a backup if you're not able to get it here because I know sometimes this, their host does go down and people are not able to download files. So I'm just using it as a backup option. Definitely try to get it from guru3d.com and I'll link it again in the description below. So what we want to do is download the software from here. So I'm just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and then we have a few download locations and mirror locations. I'm gonna be downloading it from the closest one to me, so I'll go ahead and click on that and let it download. It takes a few seconds. So now the file is done, and I'm just gonna go into my downloads folder, and here it is. Let me just minimize that, and we'll extract everything in here. Okay, so this is gonna, what it's gonna do is it's gonna uninstall all the drivers on your computer. Now, before you even begin that, what you wanna do is you wanna uninstall MSI Afterburner. In order to do that, we wanna to go to the start, head over to settings, and then go into your app section over here. And inside here, you can just type in MSI, select MSI Afterburner, and then select uninstall. And then we can click on uninstall again, say yes to the prompt. We'll just click on uninstall and then say yes. So that's done. And then we can click on close. And this is to help us do a fresh installation, basically starting from scratch. So now that it, MSI has been un, uninstalled, we can proceed on to the next step. One other thing is if you're using MSI Dragon Center, you wanna uninstall that as well. And you'll be installing it once we've completed the uninstallation of everything else. So we're back at the screen for the driver uninstall. We're gonna click on it and then click on extract. It creates a folder here, I'm gonna go inside here and then we're gonna get display driver uninstall. This application should be run in safe mode. Now, because I cannot do that and record at the same time, I'm gonna be running it as is right here. In this system, I also have an Intel card. My other PC has an NVIDIA card. I won't be using it in this example because I need to edit the video and I need everything to be working properly for that. So let's continue. 
And as I warned you at the very start, only proceed if you're actually comfortable with it. Remember, you could cause some issues with your system, so only proceed if you're comfortable with doing that. So by default, it has a bunch of options here that are all automatically selected. You can leave it as is. It has uh, specifics for NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel. And then you can just close out of this window. Now, the reason why I'm not rebooting in safe mode is because I can't record this video without it. So I'm doing it on a different system right now. What you want to do is you do want to uninstall in safe mode. So I'm going to click on that. So assuming you're in safe mode, what you want to do is select your GPU. Right now, this computer has an Intel, but if you have a different GPU that's automatically installed, say AMD or NVIDIA, it'll automatically select it, or you can manually select it. And then once you have that done, you can click on the clean and restart option. So you're gonna click on this and it's gonna to try to uninstall everything on your computer. It'll take a few minutes while it goes through this option. What it's gonna do after is it's gonna to try to restart your system. As it's uninstalling everything, you're gonna notice that your resolution and everything will adjust and display differently. This is all completely normal. And now it's restarting. So the next steps are once your computer has rebooted, you're gonna log in as normal. And now we gotta do things in order. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your manufacturer's website, whether that's Nvidia, AMD, or Intel, or whoever your GPU is with. You wanna to go to that website, you're gonna download their drivers for the model that you have, get the latest one and install it. Once you've installed the latest driver, you can then go ahead and install MSI Afterburner. You can get that directly from the MSI website. This is the URL. I'll also link that in the description below. And then you can go ahead and install MSI Afterburner. You should then try to see if you have access to the fan and see if you're able to enable it and disable it. The very last thing that you can do after ensuring that you can control your GPU with the fan is go into your BIOS and see if the feature is enabled. If the feature does not is not there and it's supposed to be there, then your BIOS might need to be updated. For that case, you would have to go to the manufacturer of your motherboard, download the latest BIOS and install on your computer. Be very, very careful if you plan to do that because you could brick your system when you try to update the BIOS. So you want to take extreme caution when doing that. So these are all the steps. I hope you found it useful. I know it's not gonna help everybody, but hopefully it helps out a few people. If you did find something that did work for you, please let me know in the comments below. I'm interested to know what worked, what didn't work. Um, and if you have any comments, you can also drop them in there. Or, or if you have any questions, you can drop them in there as well. Uh, again, thanks for your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.